YouTube. I used to love this. Nigga, I'm YouTubing. Jeez. Rude. Anywho. What? Anywho, I'm already irritated. Uh, YouTube. Today. Today was a good ass day. And it had a negative. Okay, it says turn on Pettibone Road. Nigga, it's supposed to be in that lane. stuff happens okay pet bone's gonna be to the left but anywho today was a good ass day it was a rough day i drove all the way from nashville to cleveland that was my route i had to do today um and i did pretty good like i really didn't use my phone at all like the last trip west salem ohio i did but i got lost if it nobody was there anyways but the raw guides were better. I better we understand them. Plus, I already did this raw before, so it was like refreshing my memory of some stuff. Um, also, I had a passenger that took me 20 bucks. He said, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. And I'm like, I'm like, no, sir, I can't take this. But he left. Like, I was already talking to a customer. Then I went back to go uh, give him back his money. And that man was gone. I'm like, damn. And I feel so rude because I didn't. I, I said, no, sir, I can't take this. And I, I, you know, I didn't get to say thank you. You know, that's so horrible. Um, hopefully I run into this man and just, you know, give him proper, proper thank you. Um, you know, stuff like that just made me feel so good inside. Like, I thought I was going to have a problem working with people. Like, some people, you'd be like, ugh. Like, my route, I had it. Uh, it was crazy. Like, on the way going to Nashville, I was almost in Louisville. And this lady was like, Miss Bus Driver, um, there's a man back here who says uh, he's really sick and might need an ambulance. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I pulled over. And I pulled over. I'm like, hey, uh, what's going on? What's the problem? And he's like, oh, well, I'm throwing up blood and stuff. Whoa, wait a minute. So I called EMS immediately. And, um, go. And, uh, what happened? So, we step outside. He, like, oh, well, I didn't know if we was like an hour or less away from Louisville. I could have just waited. If you are throwing up blood, why the hell would you wait? Obviously, you sick if somebody had to tell. Like, no. And it's blood. It ain't like you puking, just regular puke. No, it's blood blood like i don't want to be exposed to that i'm not saying you know the young man has anything or anything but you know like you're in a closed space with people ain't no open windows you know and you're you're sick you need attention and i don't want you dying on my bus <laughs> like i'm the worst person in the worst situation you would have faint or pass out or something to i'm the worst person i freeze up Anywho, so overall it was a good day, and then I get home because no, I got home and I spoke to my manager because um, okay, they went through this place called Concentra downtown Cleveland, and there was a problem where the leader, the, the lady, because my way this has happened before with a uh, night truck, was that night night trucking company where you know because of my weight they want me to do a sleep apnea all right whatever luckily for me go right go straight 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 through okay no actually over here no this one this one okay it says petty bone but it was playing so weird but anywho i'm like all right the whole sleep apnea thing again whatever it was bound to happen again so luckily i got to sleep sleep apnea and they told me all right you know it looks like you don't have any form of sleep apnea cool so you know i give them my results and all that and blah 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 this lady it's like okay well i need to evaluate it and see what safety says because even though you don't have sleep apnea 
the results show that you didn't really get a good night's rest during the sleep after you the sleep the sleep test. Of course not. I had all this wires and shit hooked up to me and like who I I don't sleep like that every day. Of course I'm gonna be uncomfortable. And plus I sleep on my stomach and they had me sleep on my back and I was like really like you know, you got me stiff and just I didn't like it. So of course I didn't get that much sleep. Like I was really uncomfortable. So, so on the so today I go because my ninety days is about to be up January second. So I go to get my two year. She's like, oh, well, I can't give you a card. I'm not gonna give you a card. Bitch, what the fuck you mean? You ain't about to give me a card? Like, you know, that's something in my mind. I'm like, you have me do a sleep apnea test. It shows no sleep apnea. What is your fucking problem? You see that says 25, right? And, um, she says in the notes on the sleep apnea, it does say sleep disorder unspecified. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, I have to get another sleep apnea test. Because she want me to do an at-home one. And to follow up with a sleep specialist to say I don't have it. But I'm like, it's fucking December. About to be December 20th tomorrow. And my shit expired January 2nd. That one. I don't know. I don't know. It's not showing. My shit expires January the 2nd. Like, how, lady? How? In the nick of time. And plus, I gotta order. You gotta have the shit ordered to your house and all this other stuff. Like, like I'm really not about to have a CDL career because this lady is nitpicking at every fucking thing. And I'm like, the ironic part of all this shit is that guess who's not about to get any sleep because they fucking stressing over it. Like, this has been such a stressful experience. Like, don't ever go to Concentra, downtown Cleveland. Go somewhere else. Fuck that. Like, that lady is a grade A bitch. Like, I, like, she just nitpicking. Like, like, lady, this is my career. I understand you gotta do your job and all, but you're, like, finding stuff. And she's like, well, you have a sleep disorder. I'm like, well, what fucking sleep disorder is it? I mean, I'm not adding because that. I'm like, well, but what sleep disorder is it? Exactly. Well, you didn't get sleep and because I was uncomfortable. I don't sleep with wires. I'm not that kinky at night where I sleep with wires and shit up to me in my sleep. But anywho, I'm just venting and going off and shit because I'm irritated as fuck because I'm like, I really might not have a job now and I fucking love my job. I love how I'm treated. They I feel like I'm appreciated. Like they really look out. Like I love Greyhound. Like, you know. Like like I didn't like to be honest, I didn't have high high expectations for Greyhound off rip. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna see what it's about and da -da -da, you know how the trucker mentality of oh I'm really not gonna make that much money. It is what it is. Like five days in, and I already made eight hundred dollars, and that's still, you know, I'd have been home about what three of them days. No, I've been home like what three, five of them days. No, like yeah, three, four of them days. I get to be home somewhat, you know. I get to sleep at home and bounce and be back home, and they find me a way to go. Like I love it. I enjoy it. And like you know. I've had a couple instances where people, you know, have been riled up, but hey, you want to be on this bus or you want to be, uh, you want to become police, but, you know, and I enjoy, I enjoy speaking to people, like, I get to be put in a hotel, a dorm at night to go to sleep, I'm not struggling to find parking at night, and, you know, hit, trying to, try not to hit some stuff, I mean, you still got to try not to hit no stuff in the bus, but, you know, it's just, just, just let me vent. It's too stressful. <sighs> Alright, y'all. I just had to vent to y'all. Tell me your 
opinion. I don't know. This lady don't play a punch in her face today. Mary says she's doing her job, but she just nitpicking too much. Damn. And she's not like I was bugging her for 90 days. All getting a getting. Then you at the last minute you want to say this and that. Like, like I just I feel like it's really unfair. And she's put me in a fucked up position. Like I'm stressed to a T now. Because I'm like, I really might not have a job for a minute. Like, I might be suspended until, you know, the whole sleep apnea stuff is fixed. Or, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I just got an apartment and stuff. You know, that's stressful when you got to pay bills. Or you got to try to make money stretch. Like, I don't know. That That's the part I'm really upset about. Like, and then on top of that. I'm going to have to pay for this sleep apnea test. How much is that? Rent's due on the first. Like, you know, it's just factors of... I was on a good roll of trying to get ahead of my rent. Now I'm just, you know... Blah. Yeah. Thanks for letting me be, guys.